Here's Alabama's home team weather forecast with Richard Scott. Hey, welcome back and a good Friday to you. I know it's been a hot one out there, but we'll start you off with a pleasant shot here at University of Alabama campus. Denny chimes there on a, a beautiful Friday. Of course, the temperatures are very hot and we do have a couple of thunderstorms out there. Most thunderstorm activity beginning to die down. We're starting to lose that afternoon heating as temperatures slowly cool off. But most thunderstorm activity has been over western Alabama. There's a boundary from Evergreen to Tuscaloosa up towards Memphis, Tennessee. And like clockwork, the afternoon thunderstorms have developed and still some clouds around to the west west of Tuscaloosa, but you go over east Alabama, Birmingham towards Anniston. Conditions are about as dry as they can be around here. Now, temperature wise, very warm. 92 in Tuscaloosa as well as Birmingham, 91 in Calera. A rain cooled air mass close by Demopolis. They had a thunderstorm nearby earlier today there at 84 degrees. You factor in that moisture, the heat index value, what we always talk about, how hot it feels to your skin during the summer. Yeah, it feels like 103 in Greenwood, 101 right now here in Tuscaloosa. Places that saw the rain today, their heat index value a little bit cooler towards Evergreen at 89 degrees. This evening we'll deal with temperatures falling to the lower 80s by 10 o'clock tonight. A couple of thunderstorms in the forecast before 10, but after that, uh, showers and thunderstorms will diminish and we'll see skies becoming clear. Now, if you saw some thunderstorms today, there's a chance you'll see some fog after midnight tonight. Nothing too dense out there, but there could be a little patchy fog again after midnight. That midnight temperature around 75 degrees. Much of the southeast quad would have that boundary across parts of Mississippi into uh, parts of western Alabama, but you look west of there, mostly dry conditions happening for parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, also towards the central plains. Now, there's a big time ridge of high pressure west of us, and this thing is getting ready to move in here. We've been talking about this thing for several days, dreading it. Well, it's in our forecast for the weekend. In fact, we can see where that thing is. A big bubble of hot air just to our west, 95 in Dallas, 101 in El Paso. We could be seeing temperatures in triple digits around here of the weekend. We'll be getting close. Would be too surprised to see a couple of reports of 100 degree temperatures by Sunday. Yeah, Father's Day, not a good forecast for us there. And future cast just not helping us out at all. No rainfall to talk about. In fact, dry conditions over the next couple of days as we see a few clouds here and there, but that's during the afternoon hours. We'll see mostly dry conditions. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Again, don't expect to wash out. And by the way, heat index values over the weekend could approach 108 to 110. Take it extra easy if you have those outdoor plans. Keep that in mind. Drink plenty of fluids. Stay well hydrated. 70 tonight, partly cloudy skies, a muggy one with those mild conditions. Calm wind. Tomorrow's high 97 degrees. Again, heat index values easily over 105. Mostly sunny skies, a couple of afternoon thunderstorms possible. Rain chances tomorrow less than 20%. Don't expect much rain over the next five to seven days. So if you happen to see a shower or a thunderstorm, consider yourself lucky. And it will cool you down if you happen to see a thunderstorm, but still, most of us are going to remain dry. By the way, the first day of summer is on Monday, 98 degrees. This could have feel a lot like summer. By the way, a few places could hit 100 early next week, and we'll see that isolated afternoon thunderstorm in the forecast. And overnight lows very mild as well. Lows close to 70 all the way across the board, and temperatures during the day just continue very hot. Fish and game forecast tomorrow. How about that during the afternoon hours, late in the evening? Best activity almost to the top of the scale. 8 o'clock, that's about as high as the activity goes there in the excellent range. You can see this exclusive fish and game forecast on our website, WBUATV.com. So some hot stuff to talk about this weekend. Oh, I goodness. know Father's mm -hmm. Day, everyone's got Ooh. the plans outdoors. Right, and certainly. Trying to fire up the grill. It's just too hot. It oh. sure is. Not a good weekend. I was telling Philip uh, mm -hmm. earlier that I have to clean out a storage shed tomorrow. Mm. And I'm looking mm. at 97. Not, not going to be fun. Better get out there early today to do that. Get out there, to there before to be nine. In a shed. So if those neighbors hear me banging around at three in the morning, <laughs> <laughs> they'll know it's to keep out of the heat. Hey, no kidding. That's the best yeah. time to do that I now know. during the overnight hours, right? or early morning. Unless you want to make good friends with your neighbors, <laughs> then, <laughs> well, then it might be, be a problem. Understanding about your avoidance to the heat, we can all relate to that. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Richard. Now still to come.